welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as Elite Kiri Vlogger. And today, well, we're watching the Algoma Harvester come into Port Coburn from Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, if you watched the last video, uh, which was that. CSL Frontiac, Frontac, uh, heading out. Oh, there she goes, making a sharp turn. If you didn't see that video of the ship coming through here in Port Coburn, I'll put a link somewhere on your uh, phone, uh, desktop, whatever, right there. If you're watching on the TV, that link will not show up, so it'll be in the description instead. Anyway, coming in right now is the Algoma Harvester, uh, built back in, I think it was 2013, did I see? Anyway, we're gonna watch this one come in, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it once she gets into the harbor. I should say the port, really. Just for the record, it's a little choppy out here on Lake Erie. As you can tell, I'm bobbing around a lot. Quite breezy, about 35 km an hour, uh, gusting 35 km an hour. Uh, so yeah, it's a little cool. It's about eight degrees at the moment. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I got this one last year uh, going into um, the Welling Canal from Lake Ontario. I'm sure I chased this in, and that was one of the, this is, it was that day I realized I actually enjoyed chasing ships. So I believe it was this, and I watched it go into the lock, at lock uh, number one. It was quite fascinating. So it's nice to see a ship once again. Uh, she's very low down, so she's, she's fully loaded. Like I say, she's come from Sault Ste. Marie. She's heading up into Quebec, by the looks of it. I'll just shut my engine off so you can hear it. Of course, my CD spins around.
This is the Algoma Harvester. She's 10 years old and she's currently on her way to the Bay Como in Quebec City. The ship was built in 2014 in China and is part of the Equinox class of ships. She weighs in with a summer dead weight of 39,064 tons. She has an overall length of 226 meters and a beam of 24 meters. The Algoma Harvester typically transports dry bulk cargo. As part of the handy size segment, it contributes to the movements of goods across the Great Lakes and beyond. These bulk carriers are essential for transporting commodities such as grain, iron ore, coal and other raw materials. There she goes, the Algoma Harvester once again, sailing down the Welland Canal on her way to Lake Ontario. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, give it the thumbs up and all that. And I'll be back very soon with another video of ships on the Great Lakes. My name is Nigel, also known as Lake Erie Vlogger. Until next time, see you soon.